Hey YouTubers, Eric Lindberg here. Today I'm not feeling too good. I spent all day trying to figure out how to use iMovie. Oh my gosh. Um, I'll give you a little clue. Don't change the name. Don't put don't put exclamation points in the title of your video. It drove me nuts. So anyway, um, I was online all day. I don't feel well. I don't feel like cooking. So I thought, hey, why don't I do a Mediterranean Mediterranean meal? I got this inspiration from a trip that my family and I were fortunate enough to be able to go on. And we were in um, uh, right next to the uh, Mediterranean Sea, and um, we had lunch on the beach. Um, I remember uh, you have to pay for the restrooms there. Make sure you have some some change in your pocket when you go to Italy, because they don't let you go to the bathroom for free. One of the great things about America is free bathrooms. Anyway, yeah, you gotta buy something. So anyway, so I thought we would, you know, I was looking through the the fridge and I thought, hey, I'll make a caponata. But you know what? I don't feel like cooking, so I'm not gonna cook it. That's, you know what? I'm in charge. I don't have to cook it. We could cook it later. But I have all these wonderful ingredients. Why not just why not whip it out? So I've got some, I think the first step here is that I got some bread here. Look at this. Penne Toronto. You know what? This is some fantastic Italian bread. Guess where it comes from? Aldi. It's like under $2 for this. So I'm going to take this. bread. I got the oven on. I got it on about 400 degrees. And, oh, hang on. I'll be right back. Ugh. Ugh. So I just grabbed a bunch of stuff out of the refrigerator. Um, all I'm going to do now is just kind of drizzle some Drizzle some olive oil on this bread. Oop, that's more than a drizzle. Yeah. I just rub it around here. Yeah. Cooking and eating is no fun if you don't get to use your hands. Stick that in the oven. Okay, you guys remind me. I don't want that to burn. So I'm gonna make caponata today. And caponata is basically eggplant, red peppers, capers, onions. You know, it's kind of everybody. It's a popular dish in Italy, and everybody has their own recipe for it. So, you know, look in the refrigerator, see what you got. You know, uh, typically it has olives in it. I got these beautiful Mediterranean olives. Guess where? Aldi. Ugh. Let's see. Always like to taste the food. You know, Italian cooking is less about technique, and it's a, more about a fresh wonderful ingredients and um, yeah those are canned but you know we look at canned goods and we kind of poo-poo them these days but um in uh, in italy um that's the way you can enjoy some of the best products like sardines or tuna so i got some capers like i said i like to take i like to taste my ingredients you know just, refresh my palate you know I like to remember what the flavor what the flavor profiles are like here's some smoked paprika you know if you taste paprika you know you think well it's hot or sweet no it's really kind of bitter you know so late I've been cooking a lot better lately by paying attention to the flavors you know now red pepper 
I think I got that one down. But um, let's see what else I have. I don't have any tomatoes, so I'm going to use canned tomatoes. So, oh, damn. Hold on. We'll edit this out later, or maybe we won't. So anyway, I got some whole tomatoes. You know, um, speaking of canned tomatoes, some of the best tomatoes that you can get are canned San Marzano tomatoes. And um, what I do is I buy a big can of them at Costco, and I bring them home, and I portion them out, and I... And I, uh, yeah, I portion them out and vacuum seal them. And, um, or you can throw them in the freezer. I mean, you're probably going to use them in spaghetti sauce or chili or whatever. So it doesn't really matter. And you can do that with your, you can do that with tomatoes as well. So you got to, you know, end of the summer, you got tomatoes coming out your ears. Um, <laughs> rinse them off, throw them in a Ziploc, put them in the, put them in the freezer. You can use them. Be, they'd be great in Chile. Remind you of summer in the middle of middle of uh, January. So let's see what other ingredients I had. I had some uh, leftover shallots that I had sautéed. I thought, man, that'd be good. And um, you know, Christmas time, um, I found this. Grilled eggplant. So I don't have to cook any eggplant. It's already done for me. Um, but uh, again, what's amazing is Aldi, two nineteen. That it cost you like four or five. That cost you five dollars at the grocery store, at any other grocery store. So, uh, smells good. Let's see what these taste like. You know what I like about doing this video? All my life, I've watched. I probably watched every. Um, I probably watch every reruns of uh, Food Channel or Food Network, and they get to the the money shot right where they're gonna actually they've actually prepared their dish and they're gonna eat. Mmm, mmm. Take that, Mario Batali. Mmm, that tastes really good. It tastes really good. Mmm, it's a little it's a little tangy. Um, and it's got some. Olive oil to it. it has really nice, really nice texture. So that's going away. Um, let's see what else, what other ingredients I have here. Oh, look here: roasted red pe um, pepper and artichoke tapenade. I'm probably not going to use that, but I threw it out here. Um, if I don't want to cut up tomatoes, I could have just used the diced tomatoes and drained them. So, um, that's about it for the, the ingredients. I got some other things I want to want to show you, but um, oh, this is wonderful. It's smoked sea salt. Have you ever had smoked sea salt? Oh, uh, I put it on everything. I put it on my cereal in the morning. Sweet, salty, smoky. What's not good about that? So let's get started here. Let's see here. Oh, I drained the. Oh well, drained it in the wrong bowl. Silly me. But see, that's the thing about cooking. You can always adjust. So, let's see here. I got some drained tomatoes. I oh, probably won't use it. This is bit, that was a big can. I probably won't use them all. But I'm gonna put this one over here. Grab some of these tomatoes, and I'm just gonna put a, just gonna dice them up a little bit. All right, I gotta get real. I need to, oh, here we go, in here. Ugh. I, I always, I always, I'm not a clean eater and I'm not a, not a very clean cooker. So I need that. All right, so first thing I like to do 
is since, you know what, I've lived my whole entire life <clears throat> cooking with dull knives, and I'm just done with that. I had a little bit of time on my hands, and um, so I figured, I, I went on YouTube <laughs> and um, figured out how to sharpen a knife, so here I want to show you, I don't think I'm going to lie. Yeah, that's pretty sharp. That's a sharp knife. So much easier. So much. It's fun to cook when you have the right utensils and the right tools. So. Ah! Oh, there's my steel. I don't think we're going to need that. We're going to only chop the tomatoes. But the, you know what? These cutting boards will dull your knife. Your, will dull your knives. So, what I like to do is I like to season every component. Now, I wouldn't go, um, don't go overboard on it, and you got to consider what you're, we're really not going to cook this, okay? But um, I like to use sea salt because, because you can feel it in your fingers. You know, you can, you have really precise control um, of your seasoning. And then this is ground pepper. And um, let's see what else. Oh, we'll just throw that in the pot here, or in the bowl. And you know what? Don't be afraid to. Don't be afraid to get messy. You know. That said, I'll be right back. Oh, here's some towels right here. The dogs are just wondering. They're they're sitting here looking at me like I'm crazy. <clears throat> All right. So there's some tomatoes. Um, this is obviously it's garlic, but what I like to do with my garlic is I like to roast it, and um, <laughs> believe it or not, the way the easiest way and the quickest way is to just um, deep fry this stuff. I was. My wife was making lumpia or um, Filipino egg rolls, and um, so we had the hot oil. So I had a bunch of garlic, so I stuck it in there. But um, what? Uh, then after you roast the garlic, there's all kinds of ways to do it. You can do it in the oven. You can put it in a sort of a flat pan, fill it up. You know, to say, yay, maybe a quarter inch of water in there cover it, steam it. Steaming is a fantastic method. But, um, you know, uh, uh, um, normally I would just squeeze these out of here, but it's still a little cold. But look at that. You know what? And it's so, it's so mild. I mean, you can just, it's like candy. I mean, hey, maybe we'll make candy garlic. Sometime. I wonder if that's been done. It's all been done, hasn't it? Here's another one. Look how nice that is. See how that comes out of there? I, um, what I do is I keep this in the fridge with the vegetables, and then I, uh, then I throw it in the microwave in 30 seconds, 30, 45 seconds. And um, so, well, here I learned something. That when you're chopping, you want to get close here. Um, fingers in or here you know what here's an easier way to do this look at that look how nice that mash is throw that in there that's done let's see here what else do we got oh well here let's get all the let's get all the chopping done yeah I know I know I should have had some mise en place, right? I should have, I should have uh, prepped all this stuff ahead of time, but you know, then what would we have to talk about, you know? That's what's fun about cooking is that, to me, it's a social, it's a social event, you know? Um, you cook, and you're there with your family, you might have a glass of wine. Um, anyway, check these out. Look at this product. These are from, this is from um, a product from Tasso's. Um, they have some, I got some olives in a jar like this. But check this out. 
Tasso's Fire Roasted Florina's Peppers, whole sweet. You know, that that's fantastic. And you know what? I, my sister gave me this. My sister gave me this, but to be honest with you, um, I saw them at Costco, and she goes there all the time. Okay, I'm having technical difficulties here, but I'm trying to root through it. Let's get, let's get this stuff chopped here. Oh, it smells so good. Kind of smoky. Mmm. Mmm. Super sweet. A little tangy. Let's uh, season this with a little sea salt. And I just, you know, there's a product called smoke, smoked paprika. What's paprika? Peppers. Um, so I have smoke, I'm putting smoked salt on it, you know. That should work. You know, just, it's, it, it, cooking is easy. I mean, you just take inspiration, you know. Um, open, you know, look at your freezer. Um, you have a, I have pizza in there. Well, what's good? Pepperoni and cheese, okay. So, well. Um, let's say you had some bread dough sitting around and some pepperoni, some cheese. You know what? Put those three together. It's going to taste great. And, and really, the best cooking is three ingredients. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. And I, you know, um, I like there to be some texture to my caponata. You know, you, um, you could definitely cook this off. But honestly, everything's already cooked. But um, usually they sit it in the oven for, or in the refrigerator for, oh, you know, up to a week. And uh, it just gets better and better. So, let's see here. How about, put, how about put these shallots in here? I found shallots at the store the other day. You don't, you don't see them that often. And they're, oh man, they're expensive at the store. Look at that. Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? What else can we put in there? Oh, capers. Capers is kind of a given. You have to put some capers in there, but if you don't have them, don't put them in. I don't know. Should we? Yeah, I'm just going to put them in whole. You know, you, people don't chop capers, you know. Look. And, you know, as far as measuring, you don't need a, re you don't need a recipe. You know what? If you like peppers, put more peppers in there. You know, people are, I feel like people are afraid or intimidated to just let loose and cook. Yeah, you're going to fail. Just get over it. So what else do we have here? Okay, olives. Yeah, we might put some, let's see here. Mmm. Briny. Really good. I mean, this is going to be absolutely delicious. There's no ifs or ands or buts or about it. And uh, one thing I wish we wish we had is uh, oh uh, ricotta ricotta cheese. That you know we have good ricotta here in the United States, but boy those Italians they take everything and they take their food seriously and they just. Um, it's made uh, in the springtime, and it's made from goat's milk, and oh, it is just so creamy, it's sweet, and the texture is just wonderful, you know, um, that would be a good company, but I have something that is as good, maybe even better, and it's something that we can get here. So look at that, I got some olives, I think it needs more olives. You know, olives is are kind of a predominant flavor in caponata. Because 
You know what? Everybody has olive trees. Ugh. Awesome. All right. What do we got? We got capers. Let's see here. I mean, this is going to be, um, this is going to be astounding. I mean, really, you know, it's, it's all, it's all about the ingredients. That's all, it, that's all it boils down to. You have, you know, put three flavors together, three, three fresh ingredients. I guarantee you'll love it. I'm putting kind of a fine chop on this eggplant. You know, that's, let's not make it too fine. We want, we want a little texture. There can be a little texture. That's our textural component there. Oh, it smells so good. I can, I can believe it, I can still smell. All right. See, when I started out, I didn't think I had enough, uh, I didn't think I had enough um, tomatoes in there, but now it's looking pretty good. So, let's see here. Hmm. Pay attention to your flavors. If it's bitter, add some sugar. Hey, Chloe. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, seriously, that's like good, like it is. I mean, really good. But I can't leave things alone. A little bit more smoked salt. And a tiny bit of red pepper. Can't control it. There. Oh, that's good. That's just gonna get better and better and better oh, as it sits in the fridge. And we don't need we don't need the smoked salt. There's no reason for it. Okay. And I'm gonna hit it. Drizzle. Drizzle. There we go. My vial of oil. And, you know, I was going to put some red wine vinegar in it, but, you know, the uh, olives and the capers are briny enough and acidic enough. Mm. Maybe just a little bit. This is another one of my favorite products. It's a uh, white balsamic, and I mean, it's it's so good. I mean, literally. <coughs> mm. Kind of burns the back of your throat, but it's really sweet. It's gonna be fantastic. Oh, that was probably more than I wanted. <coughs> Shouldn't re dip my spoon, should I? Well, I'm eating it, so why not? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Let's see here. Wait, here. here. Fancy crackers. $1.79. Aldi. You know what? You don't have to spend a lot of money to eat well. Mm. 
reminds me of sitting on the by the beach. Okay, set that aside for a minute. Now, this next product, we're gonna take our meal to a whole new level. I wish I had an assistant like Rachel Ray cut up all my vegetables for me. Grab that. This is special. I didn't, I didn't know about this last week. This is something new for me. But you're familiar with mozzarella, right? Here, this is kind of like mozzarella. It's really heavy. Um, this is actually uh, it's called an unwrap and roll. You can make kind of a pinwheel with it. Maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll put some caponata in that. That would be good. Um. But this is called Barada. And it's a product sort of like mozzarella. It looks like mozzarella, right? But look at this. It's like a thin, very delicate, very light um, mozzarella type cheese. Um, and inside it, it has um, cream and curds. Oh, it's just wonderful. I'll drain out the juice right there. Okay, and this is going to be really difficult to put this dish together, I'm telling you. Because, you know, you got to wipe off the plate. I mean, that's a lot of effort. just had it. Oh, here it is. It's right here. <laughs> okay. Here we go. All right. You ready for this? This is a balsamic glaze with truffles. It's a truffle glaze, truffle balsamic glaze. Oh, and I love this thing. Watch this. Watch this. It has a valve in the top of it. Hmm. a lot of this stuff. Look how beautiful that is. Okay, that's our other dish. Let's put it all together. Let's see here. There's our caponata, tapunata, our burrata. Oh, wait. We're not quite done. Look at this. Oh, this is awesome. Um, when we were in Italy, we had uh, tuna. Um, and yeah, it was canned tuna, but it was like the best tuna I've ever had. One thing is, um, tuna in oil is much better than spring water. Um, yeah, it might have some more fat in it, but that's probably what make, makes it palatable. Um, so look at this. This is some salmon that I cured and smoked in my smoker. And we're gonna enjoy this. Look at that. Oh, I love that. Love it. Uh, 
So one of these days we'll I'll get around to doing a video for teach everybody how to sharpen a knife. It's it took me I had to buy literally ten different sharpening implements before I figured out how to sharp before I figured out how to sharpen a knife. And I had to watch, you know, twenty different how to channels and um then I ended up um, perverting everything I was taught, but um, I like my salmon thin. This isn't the right knife for this, but you know what? There we go. That's a nice slice. All right, this video is getting long in the tooth, so I better hurry it up here. All right. There's some salmon. Be right back. Check out what I did. I burnt the ends of these things. Oh, there's the end. Hello, honey. What are you doing? We're doing a video. Did you know? What? You look good. Ouch. I burned the bread. Did you see the video of me burning the bread? Yep. All right, here it goes. We're gonna put this all together. Let's see here. Bread. Zach is uh, at work. No, that's Zach's selfie stick um, for free. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Suck it, Mario Batali. It's me eating and you watching this time. Mmm. really good so there there you have it a meal you didn't have to cook it all came out of a jar and it's delicious so I'm Eric Lindbergh enjoy your day put three put three ingredients together and have a wonderful meal sayonara <laughs>